The winners, semi final winners, press conference with us now is Corazon. You were right, Jurgen. I was right, predicting you, you right. would go to the final, and you were in the final. Tell us about the vibe you had on, on the stage. Uh, it was a very calm performance from my end. I wasn't excited at all. The, the audience gave me a lot of energy. And uh, I think, well, it was a prepared performance. I had fun doing it. But of course, it doesn't mean that the place in the final is guaranteed. I mean, a good performance is not necessarily a guarantee of a place in the final. So now that I am in the finals, it's really great for me because, well, it will be a chance to reach a wider audience with the song, I believe, because I always think that the Saturday night is always more followed than the Friday night. It's so the big final. There, uh, so yeah. it's, uh, what was uh, happening in the green room for you? How, how did you uh, experience the, the show? Because you were number two starting off yes. uh, at a starting well, position. Because it was a beginning position, I was very anxious in the beginning to get ready because I needed to, to get ready very early, but then it was very relaxed. So. Mm. I enjoyed it. I could enjoy the show tonight. And then the thrill of the voting or when the announcement came up that you were in the final? Oh, thank God it wasn't left to the very end because usually my heart is pumping and then if they don't call my name, it's like, whoa. So that's great. I'm so really how, happy. How do you prepare for tomorrow? Well, of course, nothing special. Tomorrow I would like to have some time to rest and uh, be here again for rehearsals. And it's uh, just the same performance as today. Hopefully I'll have more confidence because it will be the second time, so... Let's keep the fingers crossed for Carl's on tomorrow. Yes, please. Thank you. All <laughs> Thank the best you. of luck. Congratulations. At the semi-final winners' press conference now with uh, Dominic, who's got a place in the final of the Motor Eurovision Song Contest. Tell me, how did you experience the performance and the audience? The audience were very, very warm. I really liked it. Um, uh, especially when I saw them. Yeah! Oh, singing the song, I felt <laughs> overwhelming. <laughs> Fire burned the song, of course. Uh, did it burn for you in the green room? Waiting before, for the before, results? Yes, yes, before <laughs> they mentioned my name. Mentioned my, my, my name and song. I was literally, I was going to die. So, <laughs> But now I'm happy I'm, and I'm ready for tomorrow. 
So how are you uh, prepare for tomorrow? Um, uh, in the morning we have uh, the, the rehearsal again and then we we'll wait for, for the big night. What do you do actually before you performed tonight? What was the routine? Do you have a routine that you do? No, nothing, nothing. Before uh, I was I was going to sing after after Franklin. I was singing Franklin's song Franklin's song uh, <laughs> backstage. <laughs> I was relaxed. Today I was really, really relaxed. I okay. hope that tomorrow will be the same. <laughs> well, I, c I called your song a Euro Club classic. I'm sure that, that uh, we will hear your song a lot of times at Eurovision. And I hope you have a good chance tomorrow to do well for Malta. Thank you very much. All the best of luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm so happy, I'm over the moon, I worked so hard for this. <laughs> so all the hard work has paid off. Yes. One thing I have to say, I always feel for the singers, when you're sitting in the green room, what's going through your mind when you're sitting at the table there? To be honest, um, I did not, sorry, I have a sweet in my That's all right, that's all right. They can't um, see that on the radio, it's fine. I never expect, like, you know, sometimes you have to have that positive feeling, but I tried not to expect it, you know, but I had that positive feeling and uh, I wanted to get through the 14 finalists and now here I am. Well, we thought it was an excellent performance tonight and thank we wish you so all the much. best in the grand final tomorrow. And thanks for talking to us. Vote again. for a little love tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Amazon. All the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> now at the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2016, the semi-final is over. We have the winner's press conference. 14 acts have been announced to be in the final for the Malta Eurovision Song Contest for tomorrow. With us is Christabel again. Hello. Hi. And I didn't pull the number one, and you're not number one this time. No, no one pulled a JP for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you. You know I love you, eh? Of course, <laughs> of course. It's an ongoing thing. It will be until the end of our lives, you know? Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm eating a sweet. <laughs> that's, uh, that's perfectly all right. You deserve it. Hydrating. <laughs> you uh, had the most applause in the audience, I heard, when I was uh, comparing with the others. How did you experience I the... I didn't know that. No, well, it was, it was. How did you experience the, the performance yourself? The vibe was incredible. The vibe on stage was insane. I enjoyed every minute of my... Every second of my performance was only three minutes long. And I really tried to make them my own. And I tried to engage the audience. And as you said, I managed. So you managed to do it. Hopefully I'll manage tomorrow as well. Now, you, you had a lot of good uh, songs in the, in the running. Um, uh, this time it's Kingdom, last time it was uh, Rush. Rush, before that, Love Tricity. That's which, it. Which of those is your favorite, actually? Kingdom. Kingdom, okay. Without a doubt. I remember Love, Love Tricity. That was also I love Love song, Tricity. Yeah. I love it, and even Rush, but Kingdom, every year I try to get mm -hmm. a bit better, so. Mm -hmm. Kingdom is my favorite. After the performance, you go to the green room, which is actually a red-white room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's really ironic. <laughs> and and how, um, how how did you rate your results? What went through you when the I was going through my phone. I was thanking people that were congratulating me for my performance and people that g give me support. And they called me fourth, I think, so it was quite early. early. Mm. So I think last year they called me fourth as well. So, so it, it's a good part. Which number would you like to have tomorrow in the running order? I Apart from number one, we just give No, number, order. but <laughs> it's what they give me. Eh? I don't... You don't have a lucky number you would like no, to have? No, uh, there, there are some, some, some superstitions, but better not say. Mm. So if I don't get my lucky number, I don't want people to think that mm. I'm not happy singing with that number. Do you use like a lucky charm in your dressing room? I, I have a picture of God and that's it, but no okay. lucky charm. Fantastic. How do you continue the night? Going to sleep. 
Just go to sleep, not to party. No, Whoa. no partying. <laughs> Maybe we'll party tomorrow. And but tonight, it's time to go to bed. Okay, and we wish you a Thank lot you of luck much. tomorrow. Thank you <laughs> Thank for chatting with us. You deserve to have a fantastic position. Thank you very tomorrow much. Tomorrow to have a good result. Hopefully Thank the winning, winning result. I honestly, like, it, it's my dream. To go to Eurovision Song Contest. It is my dream. That's the fingers crossed. All the best of luck. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Hey, many congratulations. Thank you so much. How Thank you. It for you on the oh, it's, um, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm very, very happy. And I can't wait for tomorrow to come to give another performance like I did today. Hopefully better than today. <laughs> and you do your performance went well. And obviously the judges and the celebrators. Oh, yes. But um, uh, I am a perfectionist. I always want the best, you know. So uh, I will try to do... 101% for tomorrow. 120. Yes, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the, what the downsides of this, I always think, is sitting in a green room with the cameras on you and wondering whether your name is going to be called to you. It's, 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 I can't say it's nice, but when your name is up, then it's That's something incredible. The happiness is out of this world. Well, we better let you go because it looks as though they want to start the company. Yes. So, thanks very much. <laughs> thank indeed. you so much. And all thank the you. best for tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. We're at the thanks. Eurovision Malta 2016 qualifiers press conference from the semi-final with us. Really happy when Common made it to the finals as well. <laughs> yes, I thought really his singing amazing. voice was excellent. <laughs> oh, I really think he's a newcomer, but really, you know, spot on. Yeah, on the no, I know, you're just pulling my <laughs> Quite leg. seriously, we've got Ben Camille, who is the presenter of the show, but presenting is not something you've done before, Ben, is it? And next to you, we've got a very experienced presenter. Yes, that's right. Very, did you, very clever did you presenter. ask for some advice? I didn't actually, but I, she was kind enough to give me some when she was saying that I was drowning in nerves and she said a few words to me before I went on stage, which were extremely helpful and meant can, a lot to come Can we ask what those words were, or is it too secret? Uh, I tell you, it was something really... No, I'm joking, it wasn't no. secret at all. No, it wasn't. It was just, it was honestly, at the time, all I needed was someone to, to tell me, like, listen, you, 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 you know what you're doing, you know, you were, you were decent in rehearsals, half decent in rehearsals. You, um, uh, <laughs> Only half decent? <laughs> no, 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 no. She said, all think. <laughs> and, uh, the honest truth was that she just gave me some words and she said, listen, go out there, be yourself and just do what you know to do best. Yes, because obviously the, the, the thing is that we hear the comments that he wouldn't have heard in the same way that he hears the comments about me exactly. that people wouldn't say it to my face. Yes, so yes. obviously I heard very nice things about him and about his rehearsal. I felt myself that he did a good job. And of course I felt I needed to deliver that because maybe he needed it because he, fe he felt excited and he really didn't need to because all the comments were very positive and I thought so of him too. So I just did that and... So I can't ask Ben if he's got a favourite song because that's unfair. No, but I, I could ask you if you've got a favourite presenter for, the, for tomorrow night. No, no yes, my favourite presenter overall in this year's Eurovision is Ben coming. <laughs> He gets the trophy. He gets Thanks the trophy. for talking to us and best of luck for both of you tomorrow evening. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you very, very much.